Hello. 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 Good, how are you? Doing great. I'm so thrilled to be speaking with you today. And thank you so much for all of your time. I can't wait to talk about all of your incredible projects. I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I hope you are doing well and staying safe despite these crazy times, but we're going to have a fun interview ahead. I'm so excited. Yay! Well, congratulations to you on all of the amazing success with your career. I mean, we all love watching you and Disney Channel's hit series, Bunked. So first off, can you tell us what your favorite part is about playing the role of Destiny Baker? I think one of my favorite parts about playing the role of Destiny Baker is she's like a fun, very energetic, and she has lots of different sides to her. So it's fun to play, like, because she's so much like a real person. So it's just fun to play all these different things. And there are similar parts that I can connect with to her, but she just makes them more extravagant and um, more over the top. So I feel like that's always really fun to play. Excellent. And you do, again, such a magnificent job. We always like seeing what's in store with your character in all of the episodes. Now, also, Bunked is definitely, again, one of our favorite shows to watch. But do you have a favorite episode that you've worked on from the series? Ooh, I think... Well, we did our Christmas episode in season four, and that one was really fun because it's something that's really realistic and so many people can connect with because when Destiny, she goes through that weird phase and then you find out that she's lost her grandfather, I was able to connect with it and I feel like so many other kids are going to be able to connect and understand how how she's feeling. But I also really like how in that episode I got to sing and I got to do a whole like Christmas bashing song and dance, and it was so much fun to film. Excellent. Well, we love all of the episodes. You bring so much fun, great charisma, both on TV and in interviews and everything you do, so we love seeing that. Now, Bunked is making Disney Channel history with the renewal of a fifth season, so congratulations to you and the cast on that great news. What would you like to see happen in the fifth season? Ooh, I'm so excited because that it's it's crazy that we're making history on the Disney Channel. Like no other show has gotten a fifth season, so it's so surreal, um, and it's really weird, but it's amazing. Um, I think something that I would like to see is I feel like it'd be cool if Destiny got like a little bit more like responsibility at the camp, like if she became like a CIT, or even like how we've had CIT ITs before. Um, because we have watched her grow up throughout the show, so I feel like that'd be cool if she was able to start helping around at Camp Kikiwak a little more. Excellent. Well, we would love to see that. A lot of excitement awaits in future episodes and now a whole another season. So again, congrats to you guys on that. Thank now, you. <laughs> you're very welcome. Now, if you could keep one thing from the set of Bunked, what would it be? Oh. <laughs> I think, this is going to sound weird, but one of my favorite, um, so Destiny has a sash that I love. It, she won the Junior Miss Queso, <laughs> and I feel like that's just a very funny sash, and I would love to have it in my room. Very cool. That would be a great <laughs> decoration to have just hanging up. <laughs> yeah, just say, yeah, I, I won Junior Miss Queso, totally. That's a great accomplishment. I love that. The set of Bunked is very, very cool. So I know there's a lot of awesome items that definitely even I would want to keep as well. But also, since you've been working on the series for many years, many seasons now, is there a moment that sticks out to you the most from working on the series? Ooh, I think probably... Like, I love it when um, we've had a lot of our co-stars direct. Oh, cool. And so that's all, always, like, a like it's so much fun because they're our friends and we get to see them grow as directors and do different things in the field. And they always, I feel like when we also have our co-stars, they know how we like to work and how, like, we like to get our notes or whatever. So they always try to make sure that they give it to us in a way that we're used to or like we like to get better 
<laughs> Absolutely. And that's so exciting as what you said. It's so great to see fellow cast members delve into different ventures as well, like how you also include your work with singing on the series and dancing. So it's very exciting to see you guys all showcase your many talents that you guys have. Now, also, if you could have any celebrity visit Camp Kikiwaka, who would it be? Oh, I don't know. I okay. So maybe like Reese Witherspoon or Sandra Bullock. Very cool. I really love both of them. That would be amazing. I know you guys recently had a very amazing special visitor on set, Marie Osmond. So that was very nice. Yeah, she was so nice. It was so much fun getting to meet her. That is brilliant. Well, we would love to see a lot of celebrity appearances, maybe in future episodes, who knows, but we'll be excited to see that. And also, since Bunked is a spin-off series of Jesse, if you could see a spin-off series based on your character, what would you like it to be about or what would you like to see happen? I think it would be cool of watching, like following Destiny through the pageant industry. Right. That is a very huge part um, to her character. So like following like her home life as well as like her going through pageants because she is, she gets, she has this very dark side when she does pageants. Mm -hmm. so I feel like that'd be something funny to see every episode is like her having that kind of dark side to her. That's amazing. When I was thinking about this question, I was thinking, we definitely need a spinoff of your character and all of her beauty <laughs> <laughs> It would be really fun to see that. Now, also, as we all know, Bunk takes place at a summer camp. So what are three things that you think are essential to have in order to have the best time at summer camp? Well, I'm obsessed with arts and crafts, so definitely that. Okay. Uh, swimming and probably a campfire. Make some s'mores, hang out with friends, tell stories. That is so great. You definitely have the three essential things down for sure. <laughs> so that's awesome. Now we also have to talk about every person's dream, which is creating their own Disney Channel wand ID. So you've done a couple. Tell us what that experience was like for you. Well, it's really weird because when it shows up on the screen, it looks a lot smaller than your hand movements are actually, they really are. Like you have to go, you have to make them super big, mm. which you wouldn't expect because it looks so small, but you have to move your arm like super far. Um, so that part was definitely a little bit weird because like you do it at home and you're like, da, da, da. <laughs> but it's just kind of weird adjusting to that because you're like, oh wow, I okay. <laughs> very cool. Well, again, we love seeing you and all that you do. So that's very special and unforgettable experience indeed and also I want to talk about your work aside from Bunged I mean you are just such a brilliant actress in so many different projects one of your recent ones was working on Netflix's On My Block so what was that experience like for you working on that series? That was so much fun I loved all of the cast everyone was so nice but I really loved getting to play my character Ainsley Riches because she is very different from what I'm like but I love doing that as an actress like, I love getting to play these different people because I feel like it also helps me understand how humans work and, like, how our society kind of is just because I get to play all these awesome characters, which I love playing people that are so different from me. Absolutely. You always manage to show how versatile you are as an actress. So you always do such a great job in all of your projects and everyone should definitely check you out and on my block if they haven't done so already. Now, one thing that I always love, whether it's seeing you in the shows that you work on or right now in our interview or when you're on the carpets, you are always so fashionable. You're such a fashionista. So what would be your number one fashion advice you would give out to fans? Um... Well, one thing that I always like is I'm, I've always been a very girly girl. Um, so I, when I was little, I would always wear tutus like almost every day. Um, but always just wear stuff that you, it, even if most people wouldn't say, oh, I don't know, that's, that, I don't know, not many people would like to wear that. Just wear stuff that you like. I feel like that's the biggest thing. Like I always make sure that I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing. Brilliant. I love that. Now, Mallory, we're going to jump in and do a very quick speed round. Are you ready for it? Okay. <laughs> so the first one is favorite emoji. 
Um, probably the heart, um, the pink heart emoji with the little sparkles around it. Nice. I love that one too. What about favorite song at the moment? Um, ooh, uh, probably Moral of the Story by Ash. Very nice. How about your favorite fashion icon? Ooh, he's in Daya, I think. Very cool. She's so fashionable and very classy always. Yes, she is. What about, for the last one, dream actor or actress you'd like to work with in a future project? Um, probably either like Sandra Bullock or Reese Witherspoon still. Very nice. Well, great job on the speed round. And also, lastly, if you could bring out one message to all of your fans, what message would that be? Um, just be nice, guys. And, like, one thing that I always like to follow is I try to leave the world better than when it was when I came into it. I feel like that fits any aspect of your life. So just try to do whatever you can to make this world a better place. That is so beautiful. Now, Mallory, one of the many things that we all love about you, in addition to being such a talented actress, is that you really set such a great example for the generation, for all of your fans. So we thank you for being such a great role model to everyone. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Mallory. I had such a blast, and everyone should definitely tune in for more episodes of Season 4 of Bunked and an upcoming Season 5. We can't wait to see. Thank you so much, Mallory. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun.